busy crafters welcome back to my channel my name is jessica and today we are making a fall decor for our tiered tray we are starting out by having i've got these blocks um a long time ago like decades ago seriously from a yard sale and they were for teachers so they had a lot of apples on them what i did is i started off by taking the little apple that was on top of the book off of it i was going to repaint the apples but i kind of looked i liked the look that they had as far as they looked older and that's the kind of look that I'm going for today because, you know, hay rides, outdoor signs, all that stuff, it kind of looks weathered and everything. So we are starting off with doing that. Then I went and got these um, tags. They're wooden tags that I got from the Christmas season last year when everything was on sale. And I got these tags and I paid, they had 95% off on them. So, of course, you know, I had to get them. So then I went ahead, I kept them the original white color that they were, and I just distressed them with my Hello Hobby Antique Finishing Wax. And I really did heavy-handed on this because, like I said, I wanted it to look like it's been outdoors in a apple orchard for decades. So I did it really heavy-handed and everything. So then I got this skewer. I believe I got this skewer from Walmart. Or Hobby Lobby, I'm not quite sure. I got these skewers. I have a ton of skewers and I've done them a lot. Or dowel rods, that's what it is, dowel rods. And I have a ton of them and I've gotten them from multiple different places. So don't quote me on that. But I had, I went ahead and painted it black because I had a little round wood piece that was already black from a different project that didn't work out very well. I ended up just using that little round piece and I painted the dowel rod black as well with the pop from Joann's and that's the brand is pop so then I went ahead and finished painting it I used my hair dryer I do have a heat gun I haven't used yet I will get around to using it I just don't know when um because it can get very hot and I'm afraid of it actually causing a little bit of damage to stuff on the inside I normally do craft on the outside as well when it's not either too hot or too cold so then um, I went ahead and printed these off on my Cricut or cut them off on my Cricut. You know, they weren't print, they were cut. And they have different things. That one right there, the G decided not to come up with it. So it was kind of a pain in the rear. Um, I had a really hard time with this vinyl. And normally I don't have a problem with this vinyl. I don't know if it was because the antique wax was still kind of tacky. I'm not sure. But all I know is I cried off a of camera a little bit and then came back and now everything is good. And yeah, so <laughs> there, there you have it. But I printed these off. One says um, bobbing for apples like fresh baked pies, um, apple um, picking, hot apple cider, and apple bobbing. And I went ahead and Mod Podged everything on this sign because I noticed that even though this final I never had an issue with, it was coming up on this. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and blame the um, antique wax not being fully dried. That's on me. I get it. You know, I, I was impatient. I wanted to get a video out. You know, I want to be consistent. So I was kind of impatient. So here I am going ahead and using my finger sander to um, scruff up the... The wood round that is painted black and the dowel rod that is painted black. And off camera, I put hot glue on it. It went off camera, so I just didn't, you know, bother keeping it in because it was just a blank screen. But I did hot glue it, the dowel rod to that, and I used that for the top. That was from the wooden block that was for teachers that I got. And it looked really cute. And this project turned out adorable. I, I think it is my favorite project, you know, all of these projects, I, I'm actually quite proud of, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to admit it, you know, I'm going to toot my own horn for a little bit, but, um, yeah, so now I'm just going ahead and putting the, them on, and I kind of did it, you know, one tag facing this way, one tag facing that way, and vice versa, but then I kind of cricket it, or cricket it, oh my goodness, I kind of put some of them, um, cricket, cricket, jeez louise, at an angle, you know, like it's falling off, you know, because I do want that, I don't want that perfect look. I want that weathered outdoors, went through, you know, snow, sleet, rain, sunshine, so it's kind of faded and kind of, you know, falling apart. 
So that's kind of what I I went for there. Um, I noticed at the bottom, see how cute? I noticed the bottom was kind of plain. So I had these little um, green daisies that I actually got from Timu. And they were like 98 cents and you got a lot of them. And I was like, well, you know, they're green daisies, but daisies really are more like a spring, summer type thing and not a fall. So I kept the two green daisies on there because it kind of gave a little pop of color. But I ended up getting this pick that I truly don't know where I got it from. But it's a Renaissance 2000. And I just glued them to the bottom and gave it that perfect look. Now we're on to DIY number two. This sign turned out really cute as well. I got that arrow sign from the Dollar Tree. I also got those two blocks that I've been talking about from the yard sale decades ago. I liked the apples and there was four apples, um, two on each block. So what I did is I just took my little Cricut tool that you can use to take things off of your mat. And I just, you know, they came right up. You know, there's a little bit of work in there, but they, for the most part, came right up. And so I went ahead, I went ahead and took off the jute twine that was on this um, arrow. And because I'm going to replace it with something of my own to give it a little bit more, you know, match. And now we're going ahead and peeling off that sticker. I had to go to the hair dryer and it like really worked very well. And so then I take the white chalk paint and I give it one coat. I didn't do a lot of coats. I just did one coat and I didn't do the back because, you know, it's going to be hanging. I might go back and do the back. Actually, I can't because there's apple stuck to it. So it is what it is and the back isn't done. So who cares? Because I don't, you know, there's that. So... I go ahead and I dry it and stuff like that. But then I go ahead and go back to the antique wax. And this time with the antique wax, after I distressed this sign a little bit, I did go back with the hair dryer and I made sure that it was a little bit more, it was drier than the last project. Cause I did not want to, you know, cry off camera again because my vinyl was not cooperating with me. So there's that. So I go ahead and light, lightly handed, I went ahead and just distressed the whole thing, went around the edges and everything, and this sign turned out really cute. So once again, with my handy dandy Cricut, I did print off the word apples. I used black um, vinyl in the Paper Studio. Paper Studio, I have never had an issue with. So, you know, I... Now they have a different one, 405. 405, I've been having issues with left and right, and I'm not too happy with that. But that time it came up like perfect, like nothing came up. So now I'm going ahead, and I once again, I was going to redo the apples, but I kind of like the way the apples look because they do have that older look to them, like they've been out and worn down. You know what I mean? So I found a thing that I found something that I was like, okay, I like this pattern. So I went ahead and just did two in the back and then one in the front. And I was going to do that one in the front, but I decided I liked it better in the back. So that's exactly what we did. And then I just go ahead and hot glue it to the back of the sign. And it turned out adorable. Really cute. Um... Hopefully this can go on my tear tray. I'm not sure, but I will find a place in the kitchen for it for the fall season. I got that ribbon. It came in nine foot or nine feet and it came from the Dollar Tree and it's the red buffalo check, which went perfect with, you know, fall and, and apples. Plus my kitchen is red, so it's wonderful. And here is the finished product. There you go. Now we have DIY number three. This one turned out really cute too. And this was a kind of a spur of the moment type of thing. Because I wanted to do as much as I possibly can. I only have 15 minutes to get videos done. So the more you like, the more you share, the more you comment and subscribe, YouTube sees that and will let me actually have more time to do and put more content in the videos. So this one I did paint, you know, front, back and sides. And in between drying with the hair dryer. Um, the reason why I did that is because I can always go back and do like a double-sided one for a tear tray. Because this is for a tear tray. 
So I could do a double-sided one. You know, I can make put something else on the back of it to make it, you know, universal. So I went ahead and dried it, and everything is looking so far so good. Once again, we're going to de-stress. This one turned out a little bit lighter on the distress because my brush was wet and or damp. And so I just went along the side, and then I just de-stressed the front and the sides. Didn't distress the back just yet, but once I, like I said, if I decide to go back and, you know, make it a double side, then I will go ahead and, and take it from there. But this one has been painted all the way around, even the bottom. I did not distress the bottom, though. So... Yeah, this one turned out pretty cool because the brush the brush was damp. And once again, because I didn't want it to stick or make my vinyl be I make my vinyl be kind of a pain in the rear, I did, you know, dry it a little bit better. Once again, that apple came off the other one and the other block that I had. And so yeah, all I have left is the blocks and a book and two books. So I went ahead and uh, cut off the Cricut, um, the words hot and cider, and I have the little apple in the middle. So it's hot apple cider. I love hot apple cider in the fall. It's just amazing, you know. And so then here we go. And like it, it came up really great. Like it, I had no problem with these ones. So the crying did stop. Because the last couple of projects went pretty smoothly. <laughs> okay then. And now I just went and took the same buffalo check um, ribbon. And I just tied it around. I put the little apple in the middle. And it needed something more. So I had that like uh, twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I decided to just make a little shoestring bow. And once again, it still needed something a little bit more. So I ended up using a little sticker diamond that you could put in the middle of it just to give it a little pizzazz. And I didn't use any hot glue on the diamond itself, but, or the little gem, not a diamond, a gem. And, but I did have to hot glue under the, the twine, the red and white twine, just because it was moving all over the place. And so now I just cut it to make it even and there's the finished project thank you so much for watching and there's everything all together um hope you like my video once again please like subscribe comment share with your friends and let me know what you guys think and what you would do different um i appreciate all of you watching my channel i appreciate my subscribers i appreciate you all and thank you very much and god bless you have a nice day thank you so much for watching bye